What's going on everybody? Rob here, aka Triv2323, Thierry V2323. Subscribe, like, and chair. It's a chair, get a chair. Somebody made fun of me saying that before. Look what I got here. Fastgrowingtrees.com. We are so good at doing unboxing. Lay flat this side up. See, lay flat this side up. FedEx just delivered this to me. It's Tuesday. It was supposed to be here Saturday. And it's here Tuesday. And then they didn't even put it down the right way. So let me finish eating my Chinese food. And then we're going to do an unboxing. I'm half asleep here. I was so excited to shoot this video. But what I wanted to tell you is when you're unboxing these trees, when your bushes, whatever you get, make sure you have your camera with you. Because you could upload three pictures of the damaged product. Well, one of them has to be of the label itself. One of them has to be at the box. And one of them has to be at the plant. So I'm, I already am doing the email thing for fast growing trees. Uh, I'm going to actually send the link to the video, this video right here. And then in the future, I will give a comment of... Uh, you know what they said back but like i says i'd rather this bush actually make it and take off i got the soil good soil good dirt all everything's pre prepared so hopefully it can rebound all right i'll keep you posted three so here is the box live plants open immediately fast growing trees got it out within the next day they had it shipped i ordered it thursday no i ordered like wednesday night real late thursday it was on the road it was supposed to be here saturday it got here today tuesday but that was not fast growing trees they did fed exit it sat in champagne extra day and it sat in hammond indiana extra day but i finally got it and they had the box wrong so i'm gonna go ahead and unbox this so you can see how the trees look when they come in from fast growing trees uh oh i'm gonna have to oh let me try this one right here there you go This is supposed to be three bushes. One bush, two bush, three bush. And that's why it's supposed to be laid the way it's supposed to be laid. Because it had the bushes smushed on top of each other. So if you could see this one, they had this standing on the bottom. So this was smashed on the bottom. Not fast growing trees fault. FedEx's fault because they had it standing on the side of the box and didn't pay attention to what the box said. So this was all completely smashed down. You know, everything's just crushed, fallen off. It's, I mean, they seem healthy, but there's just a lot of damage to it from shipping. These look perfect. That looks okay. Good to go. This one, good to go right here. Should be two blueberries and a raspberry. I got the soil prepared already. Blueberry, there's Miracle Grow soil with peat moss. Raspberry, Miracle Grow soil with uh, cow manure. And then all the way over here is gonna be another blueberry. Miracle Grow soil with peat moss. So let's see which one is which over here. That one is really bad off. I am gonna contact the company on that. Like I said, no fault to fast growing trees. It's more or less FedEx. It says lay flat, so they're all just laying sideways, and they had it standing up, literally. So the plant is upside down the whole time. So that'll be the first one I open up right here. I got my uh, Smith and Wesson, my new knife. You know, I used to carry the CREKT. -E now I got my Smith and Wesson and my holster that I made myself. Oh, I'm real frustrated with FedEx right now. I really, really, really am. This literally was upside down. The whole shipping, this plant was upside down. A lot of the leaves are off of it already. I got a year warranty. I'm not looking to get it planted till next year. I mean, uh, propagated till next year. So what do we got here? This is, oh my God, this is the raspberry shortcake also. This is the raspberry shortcake. So if you look from this side, it looks pretty good. And you look from this side and it looks horrible, horrible, horrible. This right here is going to be for the raspberry shortcake. Let me see if I 
get the pot in here. Close enough for government standards. Probably take a little bit more out. I am going to contact the company on this right here. Like I said, by no fault of the company, FedEx literally shipped this bush upside down. And who knows how long it stood upside down. Okay, that's the new home of the raspberry shortcake right there. So from here, don't look too bad. I'm probably going to prune this dead branch off. So many leaves, so many leaves came off of this look at how beautiful they were i mean they were really i mean you could tell it was a very nice plant when they shipped it you could tell but it was upside down the whole transit oh frustrated okay so let's see what else we got here that's the uh raspberry shortcake bushel and berry homegrown berries okay let's see what else we got here I'm gonna do a two different blueberry plants we got here. So, oh, there's a blueberry bush right there. That's a real small one. I guess I should uh look over it is planting tip 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 pro tip pro tip pro tip. Gently tamp down the soil to remove air pockets. Two inch layer of mulch. Okay, so I gotta gently tamp it down to remove air pockets. I always thought the oxygen was good for the plant. All right, that one's ready to go. Let's see what we got here. This right here is actually a blueberry top hat. Blueberry top hat. So. I don't want to cut myself. Blueberry top hat will go all the way back over here in this pot, and that has Miracle Girl potting soil with uh, Miracle Girl potting soil with uh, peat moss in it. Look at all the dead leaves over there from the raspberry plant. That's the dead leaves from the raspberry plant because they shipped it upside down. Okay, so right here, I got the bucket because I'm taking, that's asparagus right there. But, uh, I'm taking, you know, the depth of the, whatever the pot is out of here. So, this is a blueberry top hat. Let me take it over here. Okay. I lift it up a little bit before I put the dirt in here. blueberry top hat that one looks pretty good in the shipping only one that was really bad was the raspberry the other blueberry looks amazing like I said this is the only one that had suffered some damage to it uh, I'm gonna keep these pots right here because I could use them next year to start uh, other plants in here okay and then the last one is gonna be it should be a blueberry peach peach sorbet blueberry so let's see what we got here
Okay, I'm gonna cut that off right there. I'm looking for the tag, looking for the tag. This is supposed to be the special one. Bushel and berry. Peach sorbet. They say this right here tastes like when you bite into it, it tastes like peach cobbler with a hint of blueberry. And look, there's a blueberry on it. There's a blueberry on it. This is the piece de resistance that we got. So let me get the shovel and the bucket. Wow, look at me. I threw this on the asparagus. Okay, so out of the three, one of them uh, appeared a little bit damaged. But we're going to go ahead and I'm going to talk with the company about that one. I got a year I, I do I did purchase the warranty on it so it says 30 days uh, damage with the shipping the warranty plus I got a year's warranty on it I'm, if, I mean if it takes off I, I'm gonna be more than happy I don't want anything back if it takes off so wish me luck keep your fingers crossed on that one let me get the bucket and get some of this out of here Man, there's already a blueberry on that one, so I know for sure by next year we're gonna get some blueberries out of it. So this is the piece de resistance. Oh man, no, I really got it. There's actually two blueberries on this already. See, there's a blueberry right there. And then there's a blueberry right there. So there's two blueberries on this one already. Then this is the raspberry. Oh, wish me luck on this one. I got my fingers crossed on the raspberry. And then this is the top hat blueberry okay so i'm gonna go ahead and wet them all down now and then uh i will email the company on the raspberry fingers crossed though hopefully we don't we could just uh save this one that they shipped ah, get this out my way and i'm saving those pots those bushel and berry pots are really nice i could start something else in this blue buckets very nice buckets this bushel and berry Homegrown berries, homegrown berries. Okay, so let me wet some of these down right here. This is the top hat blueberry. Guess I can wet the asparagus while I'm here. Want to let it know it's home. It's been sitting in that box for five days, sitting in the plastic in the box for five days. All right, let's go. We're gonna go to the raspberry. This is the one that was terrible. And then this is the peach sorbet. Right here, let me get some of that off the floor. I just pressure washed my floor. Some of that off of there. That's celery right there. All right, and that's unboxing and planting. Uh, two blueberries and one raspberry. And wish me luck. Stay long, stay tuned. Uh, heck, that one's already got some blueberries coming in. Maybe we might get some blueberries this year. But fingers crossed, wish me luck on the raspberry. And yo, look at those romas. They look amazing. Talk to you later. Subscribe, like, and share.